That was the President of the United States yesterday speaking about health care reform just before uh, the new Congressional Budget Office estimate came out. Let's take a look. Does the Congressional Budget Office estimate match up with the test just outlined by the President there? Here's the political hard part for Republicans. If Obamacare were kept in place, uh, the Congressional Budget Office says 28 million people would lack insurance a decade from now. Under the Republican plan, if it's passed and signed into law, they say that number will nearly double to 52 million Americans who don't have health insurance. Politically, that's a tough sell for the Republicans. Premiums? Depends on how you look at it. In the short term, the Republican plan would increase premiums, this new analysis suggests, including in 2018, next year, the midterm election year. That's bad for Republicans, but they say take the long view. Over the next decade, your premiums would actually drop, according to this new analysis. That's good news for Republicans. This is part of the big sales pitch to conservatives. Republicans say the government will be spending less, especially on those subsidies under Obamacare, and the federal deficit will drop by nearly $340 billion under this Republican plan, a major selling point to fiscal conservatives. Now, we want to take a look at this in particular. What about this particular group of voters, older voters? If you're a 64-year-old on a limited, modest income, under Obamacare, your premiums are only $1,700. Under this new Republican plan, they're going to go up to more than $14,000 for older Americans who don't have much income. Why did I pick this number here? Because those are the voters who were Donald Trump's Die hard. His biggest group of support were older voters. So by the time 2020 rolls around, is this group so good to Donald Trump in 2016? Are they going to be mad about this in 2060, 20, 2020? Excuse me. One of the political questions to go forward as this debate goes. The House Speaker Paul Ryan says, "I looked at this study. I thought it was going to be worse."